Oh, what a grand day. Hello, people, YouTube. Welcome back to the the my vlog. I almost was going to say uh, PGA Tour 2K21. Oh, what a day, man. Absolutely fantastic. It's one of those days you, you can, uh, you're just glad that you stay in a, co a country that's... When it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it can be really bad, I've got to admit. But the sun's out. It's a bit cloudy, so... But we do, do have blue skies, so I was out yesterday. Videos, uh, I've actually got it edited in my phone. So I'll probably upload it maybe later today and get it on for tonight. I, I told her like, uh, like two spooky stories that I've had. Like brush with, uh, I don't know, spiritual, ghost, weird happenings. So, <coughs> still battling this cold. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd head back out. Such a gorgeous day. Don't plan really doing much. Probably just gonna head down. Might even just get to the Millennium Bridge and back. I don't know whether I'll go up Green, Green Castle and back round, I don't know. If I do that, I get like 10 plus miles, so. I did 14 actually, no, almost 15 uh, yesterday. Uh, which is a surprise, because that's, that's the most I've done for a while. I don't know what I've done to my wrist, this wrist, not this one, that one. I was sleeping last night. I, I, I was on my bike and it was fine. Woke up this morning and I must have been sleeping with it like, I don't know, like a weird, like, like this. Because it's actually kind of, it's not sprained, but it's just here at the bottom part. It's kind of sore. And it's not, it's not that because it's my left hand. I don't actually tried it with my left hand. But anyway, uh, as I say, kind of plans wise, I just don't know. Uh, I've actually seen somebody with a drone. I mean, I've, I've got my drone, but I don't, I've never used it for this vlog. I keep meaning to, but it's just, just getting it set up a lot of the time. I was actually going to trade in my drone because that drone now becomes, I think, I don't even know, even now, it becomes a legacy drone, which it, it, it's, now it's going to be done in a, a weight category. So if it's under a certain weight, I think it's 250 grams, it becomes, if it's under 200, well, we stay next to an airport, so we'd have to watch, but I think maybe getting down, like, towards that end of the air, down the bottom end. I could basically overfly houses and everything uh, with a, a, a drone under 250 grams. My drone, I think, weighs 900 and something, 980 grams or something like that. But because it's not, it's got to be marked on the body of the drone, so it becomes a legacy drone. So it then becomes really, really restricted to the point where I, I probably can't, I could probably fly it maybe even down the shore, but... Um, so I was thinking of trading it in, getting some money and then just putting that money into the 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 Mavic Mini. Uh, but anyway, that's another issue. So, news for today. Well, actually, there's one thing. There's a, a big explosion in air. Uh, it happened in Kincaidston, like in the town. Uh, there's reports. I don't. I don't know if they're, they're, they've been investigating it. So I don't think it's been like officially reported as being a gas leak. But I, th I think it was, like, there was three main gas leaks. But this house just went absolutely just gone. It's like, I'll probably put a picture up here. Um, but the house is just disintegrated. And then there was like three houses. There was a house next to it and two next to it, that side. So they're going to get knocked down because they're just beyond repair. So that happened about three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Uh, so, pretty bad, uh, to the point where actual ears not going to have a firework display this year because of the noise, so that's understandable. Um, but, yeah, I forgot to mention that the other day. Also, uh, Alex Dowsett is doing the hour record tomorrow, I believe. I think he's doing it, he's in Mexico, so I think it's around about 11 o'clock at night he's doing it. So that will be streamed on his channel, I believe which is the Thighs Club. I don't know, it's actually Alex Dowsett. But it's called the Thighs Club. But anyways, Alex Dowsett's doing the, the ever record. Uh, I follow Alex Dowsett quite a lot. He's, he's actually got a really good uh, YouTube channel. 
you get a lot of insight into the like he's uh, he's also a pro rider. He rides for Israeli startup nation. So he's out in Mexico at the moment doing a preparing for it. So he's doing that tomorrow. So hopefully he does it. I think he's he's a, he's a fantastic guy, and I think he's he's a hemophiliac as well. So I think his blood, sweat, and tears is the name of it. So he's doing that. He's probably over there by a few thousand miles. Um, so best of luck for him. I hope he does it. So fingers crossed. Uh, but other than that, um, yeah, it's it's a really nice day actually for cycling. It, it's like really. It's about 11 degrees, I don't know what the wind chills, not really that much wind there. Um, at the moment we have COP, is it COP26, COP28, oh, I don't know what it is. But there's a big meeting up in Glasgow and Edinburgh. Presswick Airport's getting used for a lot of planes, a lot of dignitaries have been coming in. Uh, Air Force One I think is up in Edinburgh just now. There's a possibility that it was coming to Presswick but that didn't happen. But a lot of his vehicles came and uh, the helicopters as well came into Presswick. I think the, the car's called the Beast. So that came in the other day and the helicopter came in the other day as well. So yeah, just gonna go a wee spin. Nothing really much. Probably do another vlog piece when I get down here, maybe somewhere. Actually, yesterday I just went straight out, straight to my bit in the hallway, which is like down there somewhere. Uh, which is good because you get that initial couple of miles. I'm only done like a mile and a half. And I'm sitting here yapping. So, but it's an absolute gorgeous day, man. It's really, really nice. To think this is like the 2nd of November. It's very, very mild. Um, but anyway, I'm going to head off. So, catch us later. Hello, how is it going? Uh, so, as you can see, that is here, uh, sunny Scotland. I know it's sunny and it's Scotland, it's a bit of a weird mix, but uh, oh, it's gorgeous up here, man. I could just sit, sun's at the back, right into the bay, nice, a bit of a cloud cover. It's actually really quite uh, photogenic. This is probably not going to look great. <laughs> but yeah, I just I just came from the came from the pier up that hill. Uh probably I don't know, I might I mean whether I go back down that way or go back in through the hallway route, I don't know. I'm kinda like I kinda wanna go that way, kinda don't. Oh it's actually really nice and warm, it's sort of really mild. Anyway, ah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll, if I do something else, I might do another vlog. Vlog piece, that is. Hello! Okay, just a quick message to Alex Dowsett. He's uh, he's doing his other record challenge tomorrow in Mexico. So, just want to wish him all the best for myself and the, the people of Scotland and the UK as well. We're all we're all one big family. I mean, I'm sometimes happy, but that's life. So there you go. What a beautiful that's here, and it's sunny. I'm not going up to a house, I need to get my fingers in the brakes. Anyway, Alex, hope you have all, all the best. Wish you luck. See you soon, buddy. Take care. Back again, people. How's it going, people, YouTube? I left this yesterday. Uh, I mean, it's fairly beat up. So it's a Team Ineos bottle. In fact, the Ineos is totally gone. It's just Team SIS. I'm not obviously going to try and keep something that done it to it. I'll give that a good clean when I go home. Oh, here's a good people on YouTube. Wow, yesterday was... Uh, yesterday was interesting, to say the least. Um, kind of... 
Oh yeah, it was, let's just, let's just break it down. Um, so, I was, I went to the pier and then cycled along. I usually, I went up Green and Castle and I sat up at the, there's a little log just up by, which is really nice. Really nice day yesterday actually, the sun was out, it was beautiful. Um, so I was, I was up at Green Castle. Uh, wished uh, Alex Dowsett all, all the best for his uh, hour record, which was good. Uh, and then really decided to come back back into here. So uh, I could have went, I could have went round the loop, but I actually decided just to come back down along the shore. Uh, anyway, I was coming along the shore and had a crash basically. Not high speed, pretty much. I mean, I wasn't doing more than, I don't know, 10 mile per hour. But just as I came along, there was a, a kid, and I say a kid because of the long hair, I don't know if it was a male or female, or a girl or a boy, I should say. <clears throat> but basically, the kid was on the wall. The mother was there, I think, also, uh, her mum was there also, a bit further back. And basically what happened, the kid came off the wall and then just went, like, with momentum at a 45 degree angle onto the, 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 the path uh, down the shore and I had absolutely nowhere to go. I was like, I was hard on the brakes, tried to go to the right because it happened that quick. By the time I actually got near him, he was starting to like come and we've just basically converged. Uh, so if I'd went that way, I, don't, I, I didn't have enough time to react, I didn't have enough time to go around the back. So I tried to go this way, and he basically, the kid just went right into my front end. Uh, and I went down, I fell down. Um, and I'm not going to lie, the first thing I did when I got up is check the bike. <laughs> I know, it's, uh, well, check the bike, did a quick survey, like, just to make sure the handlebars weren't snapped, or anything really stupid. And then asked if the kid was okay, and I went and sat down with the kid and the mum and the grand for like, two, three minutes, just to make sure that everything was okay. She asked if I was okay, if the bike was okay. I mean, the bike was fine. The bike basically got a little bit of scrape on the, the weavers. I don't know if you can actually see that. Yeah, you can see just there. But I'm actually quite bummed about, because if you look at this one, that's perfect. So, it got a little bit of a, a scrape in the weaver. Uh, and there's a little tiny bit on the, the back. Because I think when I fell, I went down like that, my, my knee caught it. I don't know why I'm doing this. My knee, my elbow caught it. Uh, and that's about it. And then I think what happened, the back of the bike just tapped the ground. So that's where the, the little marks, very, very few, there's a tiny, tiny little pin marks. Uh, probably the pedals got a little bit of a scrape, but ugh, that's, that's the pedals. Pedals do get scraped. Um, apart from that, that was about it. So probably, Really fortunate. I went down the non-drive side. If it'd been the drive side, you may be looking at with slight errors in the, the derailleur and stuff. So it's quite good. I fell that side, but uh, it just happened in slow motion, and it was just it was on it before he even knew it. And by the time I could react, which was not much, uh, that was it. You know, I was I was on the ground, but. She asked me she, uh, quite a number of occasions, are you okay, is the bike okay? And I was, I was like, yeah, the bike's fine, I'm, I'm fine. How's, how's the kid, is the kid okay? I think she got, a, well, I said she. The kid got a real fright, real shock. Um, Cause all of a sudden there's this 91 kilogram plus seven kilograms in the bike. So a hundred kilograms of pure muscle. <laughs> Coming towards you, uh, she got, well, the kid got fit. I keep saying she. I don't know if it was. Uh, but yeah, that, that was... And this is a funny thing, actually. I could probably... I thought about this after. I was sitting up at home and I, I kind of... You know, had that kind of moment where you, you think about it. You go, do you know, I'm I'm 47. You know, I'm nearly 50 years old. I'm not like... I'm not a spring chicken anymore. But I've got that mentality of like... You know, 20, 25, or a teenager. You know, I still have that mentality, so. But yeah, I'm fine. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I survived. 
as I said, my main concern obviously was the bike, I'm not going to lie, but it was kind of went from bike to kid to me. I was at last, because I, 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 knew, I knew I didn't uh, sustain that much, although my, I, I've got a little bit of stiffness in my, my, my left knee, just down, sort of, down this part here, because I kind of impacted there, and my elbow's a little bit stiff but I, I don't really bruise easy either I don't I barely bruise at all so uh, yeah so my mum needs super glue I'm the super glue guy so I've got it in my backpack and my my thing uh, my pockets so I'm just going to head up to my mum and dad's again I'm not really going to go far I don't really I don't want to cycle out there I, I don't know you get a little bit kind of you know post traumatic stress kind of thing you, I don't know, you just, there's just something about it. It's about like, I've always said, it's about like when the Top Gun, when Maverick crashes, crashes, when Maverick crashes and Goose is dead, and he sits in that, that cockpit that the, the plane he's in, and he's like, that's what it's like. It's, it's like you don't, you want to be there, you want to cycle, but you don't at the same time. So yeah, that's about it. Um, no real updates. I did... I'll probably do stuff from yesterday to today. This video will also go in, but I'll make good stuff from yesterday as well. Because I'm just really going to head up to my mum. I don't, I don't plan on doing a lot of miles, just a couple. But I got my I got my bead on, that's what I mean. I took this out and I was, I was actually doing the video here. It's the exact same bit. And I was drinking my water and I just sat it down to the side. And I got home and I went, I don't know, where's my bottle? And I went, oh, I've left it. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's seen better days, it's it's pretty much, I mean, if it wasn't there when I come, when I come down today, well, so be it, but somebody's probably peed in it or something, that's why I'm not drinking it, if I, I might just actually decant it a wee bit, <laughs> I'm going to do that just now because I don't want to drink it, seems okay actually, I don't think it's tainted. But you never know. Uh, but anyway, I'm just gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna go far. See, my knees a little bit like stiff. It's. It's not sore, but it's. There's a little bit of stiffness there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna head. Head up to my mum's. Chill. Come back down. Probably what you walk if I get. Four or five miles, maybe. I mean, I could go out and do my work, but. Um, I'm not. I'm not really that bothered today, I don't know, just after that crash and a little bit. And it's true what one of my uh, guys in Strava, uh, Andy, said, you know, it's a horrible feeling because you see it coming. You know, there's odd time that you might not blindside or, or anything like that, but I saw it coming, I saw it unfold. And then all of a sudden you're lying flat on the ground. It's always a weird perspective of the world when you're lying down. It's like, I don't know, it, it just doesn't feel right. And again, you know, it's a, it's, it's a slow speed, but sometimes slow speeds can be, can actually be probably actually worse. You know, you can actually still do a lot of damage at your collarbone and and stuff. But anyway, let's, uh, let's head. Catch you later. Oh, and again, best of luck, Alex. Hope you do it, buddy. I'm rooting for you. I should be up unless I'm sleeping, but I, I'm, I'll set my alarm. Anyway, take care folks, catch you later.